Welcome back to the score. Year number two of the sanctioned Iowa Girls State Wrestling Tournament taking center stage tonight in Coralville. Tonight, a pair of our area standouts took aim at state titles. Was it year two or three now? Well, it's year two sanctioned, but this is the third year up at Coralville. It's been a great environment regardless up at the Extreme Arena. We'll start at 115. West Liberty's Sylvia Garcia Vasquez in the finals. First period, it's Raina Utterback with a nice takedown, and she'll be able to leave. And in the third, Raina Back comes up with the pin. She takes care of Garcia Vasquez. This is a state runner up. Let's go to 145. West Greta Bruce taking center stage, taking on Molly Manns from Council Bluffs. Second period, Brews with the first points of the match with the escape, and then she would get a takedown later in this one. This get, this match would actually go into sudden victory, and unfortunately, it's Mans that gets the takedown to win it. What a match it was. Bruce brings home silver. Also tonight, Petey's Abigail Meyer takes fourth, Bettendorf's Hannah Rogers is third. What a night for girls wrestling up in Colby. Yeah, it was nerve wracking because I had high expectations for myself. I'd been working all off season and doing pretty well in my regular season. So it was exciting, but a little bit nerve wracking. I've been here a, a lot of times and getting to experience it again every year is just amazing. Like, I don't know how to like describe it. It's like nerve wracking, but it's also really exciting. Like makes me happy. Back to some basketball. Defending state champion at Pleasant Valley hosting Assumption. Take you halfway through the third. Spartans up, adding to it. Or Knights coming back, I should say. Maddie Nige drills the three, cutting the deficit. Later in the quarter, Spartans up big, adding to it. Reagan Pagnano with the three. That extends the lead to 27. Knights trying to respond. Anna Timmons scores the layup inside. Fourth quarter we go. Same score, Kaylee Mowen drills the three for the Spartans. That extends the lead to 28. This one, oh, Pleasant Valley, they cruise 57-22, your final score. Central DeWitt looking to stay in the MAC race, traveling down to Muscatine. Hasn't been easy playing down there. We'll pick this one up first quarter. Braley Seaman, that's the basket. He gets the bucket to go. It's 10-7 DeWitt. Later, it's Lauren Walker pushing, passing to Ava Putman. She gets the shot to drop. It's 12-7 Sabres. In the second quarter, it's Ava Putman passing to Carly Toby this time. She'll knock down the three. It's 20 to 15, and then Putnam to Walker. Putnam did, giving out a lot of assists tonight. It's a two-point game at that point. Let's check a final score. Central DeWitt gets a roadie, 72 to 45. Bettendorf making the trip up to face North Scott. Bulldogs looking good. Olivia McCorkle buries the three right here. We were tied early on. More from the Bulldogs. Olivia Carr gets in the paint, fake spins, and. Gets the pretty lefty lay of the go right here. Bulldogs grab the lead. North Scott hanging tough. Camilla Eller with the rebound, and she'll go coast to coast. Put the layup in right there. That kept the Lancers in it. Bettendorf, though, really good in this one. Emma Anderson will find Carr down low. She gets another layup. We'll show you a final. At one point, the Bulldogs were 1-6 in the season. They're now 11 and eight overall. They've won 10 of the last 12, 59, 41. Your final on that one. More max scores. They started early on us over at West. It was Davenport North cruising in that one, and it's Clinton edging Davenport Central, 47, 45. Your final up in Clinton. Let's go to Comanche, where Makokota making a little road trip. They're a really good team. This is the first of a home and home they played tonight, and then tomorrow as well, opening quarter, Aubrey Croyman. Get the bucket off the window to make it 4-0, and then they go right back to Foman and the fast break. She'll lay that up and in for a 6-0 lead. Next trip down, it would go to Cora Waddell. She has a baseline jumper, knocks it down to make it a 10-0 advantage, and then later they work it around the horn. Waddell stepping out, hitting a three, 13-2 at that point. This one all Makokota. They play again tomorrow up in Makokota. 60-31 is the final. A little Friday night basketball up in Iowa City. Owen Freeman and the Hawkeyes taking on the Buckeyes. Owen in a good move before the game. A good start for him. Here he gets it inside. Misses the first one, but puts it back up and in. Iowa within two early. A few trips later, it's Peyton Samfort. Get, catching in transition, burying the three. They'll let anybody in these games with the Hawkeyes, you can see. Well, it's the Hawkeyes with a three-point lead. More from Peyton Sanford. He finds Josh Dix. Dix had 15. Iowa in front. More in the first half. It's Freeman to Ben Cricky. He had eight on the night. 
This one close throughout. Tony Freeman had 20. Iowa wins this one. 79-77, your final score. And the good news is we got our cameras fixed just in time for the one and only the handsome Ryan, Ryan Stein. Stein. Well, we try. Girls action tonight. Wilton defeats West Branch 53-36. Monticello keeps pace with Makokota 54-38 over Northeast. Cal Wheat moves to 10 and 1. They defeat East Buchanan by 29. And the Battle of the Valley, it's Makokota over Easton 55-18. Tomorrow, the Lincoln Trail Tournament final day starts with six games at 11 o'clock. Tonight, United rallies from a five-point halftime deficit to defeat West Central. Galva breezes packs Knoxville by seven. Princeton trailed Mendota going into the fourth quarter by seven. They beat them 72-63. Kiwani, eight days, four games on the road. They win them all. They beat Bureau Valley 61-47. Ty Harden, 39 points for Maquoket as they defeat Comanche 85-73. West Branch over Wilton by 24. Southeast Iowa Super Conference shootout. Minneapolis was down 12. Rallies to force overtime. They beat Louisa Muscatine 62-59 and Danville over Wapolo. Well I dare done. you. I dare you to find more scores than what Brian's talking about. And it's not easy to do nowadays. It, it is, is very not easy. Difficult. He's doing a good job with it. Hey, one more quick note. Assumption has a new head football coach. Nate Gilbreth gets that job. Congratulations to him. I feel like we should be outside grilling. Grilling? Yeah. Some food. Uh, it's a little, a it's not warm. Also, yeah. another big day tomorrow. State team duels in Iowa. A lot of basketball to get to. We'll have it all for you right here on WQAD. Thanks so much for watching The Score. We'll see you back here throughout the weekend and then, of course, for The Score Sunday on Sunday.